So, Sakamoto Days is a title that I first learned about from Free Comic Book Day, I guess about a month ago, and I told my wife about it. She said that she already had the first two volumes on pre-order. Those recently came in, and I took them out of her read pile so that I could get to them first. And I've already read both. At one point, I was supposed to be working, and instead I was reading comics. But uh, it's good, and I want to talk about this title. So this guy here is Sakamoto. He is a former legendary hitman. This guy here is also a former hitman. But uh, he met a woman, retired from the business, opened a shop. That's what's in the background here. And the apron... Five years later, this guy shows up with the intent to kill him, as instructed, and instead he winds up working at the shop as well. So he also turns on the... the there's a few things going on, but there is a, an association of Hitman. It's, it's pretty funny how sort of corporately structured this thing is. It's, uh, it is a funny series, if there's any concern about that. There is, let me show you, so, here he is in his youth, there is a very short opening sequence here where it explains how he got from where he was to where he is now, it is the literally first 15 or so pages of the book, and now there he is running the shop. So there is occasional violence. This is imagined at the time. Uh, this guy can read minds, which is, as near as I can tell, the only sort of supernatural element in the story. But uh, it does help out a lot with stopping other assassins that are still trying to kill him because the association is not done with trying to kill him. They don't like that he quit the business. And I don't know why they waited five years, but now... They're sending waves of hitmen after him, and uh, it's it's very entertaining. It's also funny, as I said, Volume 1 sort of sets up the cast in a couple of ways. There is also this character, who appears later in Volume 1 and also winds up working at the shop. She is the daughter of a triad leader, I believe. There he is in the roller coaster. So Volume 1 really sets things up. Volume 2 expands the universe, expands the overall story, develops the Hitman Association. The There's a there's an elite squad within the Hitman hierarchy, and there's also there's a few other things from their past that's going on and uh, coming back to bite them in the present. Here is an action sequence. So you can get a sense of the art. It's, as I said, it's it's very funny. It's touching in a lot of ways. It's just overall very good. I don't know how many volumes this is. I just got this. Really, my wife got it in the mail yesterday. I've already read it. And, uh... I don't know how many volumes the series ultimately is. If I figure it out, I will put that down here. But uh, I hope there's more of this. I hope it continues for a long time. It seems like the way the story is structured, it could go for a long time. Um, as I said, Volume 2 expands things pretty significantly as far as the world, the story, what's all happening, and um, slows things down a bit. So Volume 1... As I said, sort of sets up the cast, the basic starting premise, and Volume 2 hits the gas. It's a good series. I do recommend this, and I hope this runs for a long time. Um, I haven't read much... I don't know how I want to say this. So I, I read Ronda one half, and I did a bunch of videos on that series, but uh, I really hadn't read much manga since my high school days, and my wife has a ton of the stuff, so I don't know, I don't know, uh, I think I have the bug again, and I do have some more that is within this room, and I'm starting to read some of that, making decisions about what to keep and whatnot, and um, I think it will continue. 
I just don't have a, a timing on some of this stuff. It's much easier for the existing stuff that I already have to figure out sort of a, a general timeline of when to do these things. And then manga just sort of crops up and ruins my plans. So in a good way, in the best possible way, because the series is great. And once again, I recommend it for anyone interested. I hope it runs for a long time because I'm very much enjoying it.